glasses just coming in from here because that's what you see. And then I'll change the convergence point. Yes. <laughs> In front, it's going to appear in negative parallax out of the screen. Hi, well, I'm here now with Richard Payne, who's from a company called Holden, which are a distributor for Panasonic. And I'm really pleased because here at the 3D Week, they're showcasing the Panasonic AG 3D A1 camcorder. Oh, is it, who, who is this actually aimed at? Because obviously, I mean, it, was it £16,000? Is this it's, for sort of right. consu not it, consumers? But it's certainly not consumer, no. This is a professional camera. And the this is designed for shooting professional quality 3D for, for anybody who wants to shoot professional quality 3D. Obviously its size makes it more suited for, for documentary and sort of run and gun stuff. Um, there's some of the test shoots were done with bear grills um, going out on, on cliff faces and motorboats and things like that. Places where it would be traditionally very hard to use a large 3D rig, but but this sort of camera makes it easy, easy to, to film like that. Fantastic. I mean, in terms of usability, one of the I mean, I haven't actually had a chance to have a go on this, but how I mean, the lenses are fixed, aren't they? What other adjustments can you have though? I mean, can you adjust the convergence That's very right. easily? I mean, this this is the difference between the domestic camera from Panasonic and and this professional camera. This records. It has two sensors, two lens blocks, and they record onto two separate SDHC cameras at the back. Uh, it records a higher bitrate AVCHD uh, quality of 24 megabits a second uh, onto these SD cards, so it's a professional rate. And that's the equivalent, probably better pictures than you get on 35 megabits using the older MPEG-2 stuff, something that EX1s and EX3s do. So the quality is way up there, but also we have twin HD-SDI output as well. So you can record that into a nano flash or AVC intro into P2 gear devices. So you've got a, a full broadcast recording capability if you want to. Um, but the difference between this and the domestic is that you can adjust convergence using a dial on the side of the camera. Can we have a look at that? I mean, it, that sounds really, really simple. You can just literally do the a dial and that's it. Effectively, is controlling the the lenses the way they they move in just as your eyes would as images get closer and further away so what you do is you focus it and there's no autofocus because with 3d let me just come around okay. it's going to totally screw up your shot <laughs> uh, if i just come around here with with 3d stuff you don't want to have autofocus you want total control over what's in focus and in fact the other thing you want is a large depth of field the last thing you want are those lovely DSLR effects where you've got blurred backgrounds because that won't give you clear 3D. So this uses quarter-inch chips. So it's a small, uh, small quarter-inch chip, but there's um, there are three CMOS sensors on each one to give you true colours, and it's a proper 2K sensor or two 2K sensors to give you full resolution seed, um, 3D. But the combination of these small sensors and obviously with a bit more light than we've got in here, being able to shoot at, uh, at uh, high f-stops mean large depths of field which will give you everything in your 3D space in focus from the, n from the near to the far and that gives you the best possible 3D effect. Yeah, great, well I certainly want one of these on my, uh, my present list. Well thank you all so much for showing me the camera and I hope you enjoy the rest of the 3D week. Oh, thanks a lot, nice to meet you.